think I got it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's back. That's back. What happens when you over tighten an oil filter? You know what happens if you over tighten a drain plug? This is not just a bad crush washer. This is. Are you serious? You dude? literally cracked the entire oh. aluminum. Oh. Well, they're just so tight, and you actually need like a huge screwdriver. It's gonna be an absolute nightmare to remove. Big hammer. It'll either crush the seal, destroy the filter, or damage the housing that the filter goes on. You have to pop it through the oil filter. Don't over tighten anything. And use that as lever to get this thing off. Really, you can just tighten it by hand. Looser is always better than too tight. Simple as that. Lubricate the O-ring, put it up there, tighten it by hand, that's all you need. That's a very majestic answer, by the way. What happens if you don't change your oil? You just change your oil every 5,000 miles. The engine blows up. What's 7,500 miles? FC Piro goes out of business, number one. Once a year. You start getting the old sludge that comes out, the old engine clickety-clackety, a little bingity-bangity-boom, and next thing you know, kapow! Just change your oil. What is the recommended oil change interval? So do we want to go based on what the manufacturer says? Around 10,000 miles for the newer Volkswagens and Audis. Well, if I'm not using synthetic oil, I'm yeah. going 3,000 miles. Really high quality synthetic. With synthetic, no more Three. than five. I'm probably Three gonna five? do around four, four to five hundred. You could probably do five to seven thousand miles. Trust me. A lot of city driving, three to five thousand miles. If you're a BMW, once upon a time, you would say fifteen thousand miles. That's miles. Sorry for my Canadian friends, not kilometers. What oil filters are the best? On the European side of things, you have uh, Man, Mala, Hengst. The ones that filter your oil, obviously. That's Bam. a start. Bam, makes sense. Original equipment. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Any of those three brands for European cars would be perfectly fine. Thanks. Thanks, good. Yep, thanks, too. The ones we have. FCP Euro Doctor. For sure. Do aftermarket oil coolers do anything, or do they just look cool? Ben has one right now on his Mini, and it's doing nothing because he has no engine. If your car does have an external oil, cool oil cooler from the factory, and you add a bigger one, it's gonna keep your oil time slower. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I can't even keep the internet on, and you're asking me about like an engine swap. So I mean, like we need to like, like we need to figure this out right now, okay guys? I mean, they do look cool, especially when they're like hanging right outside in front of the car, so they're exposed to like all the pebbles and stuff. Yeah. Dope. Or you could just mount it in front of the bumper, and that first rock that hits it, just grenades your engine. Don't do that. Lost. Gone, Malarkey. just like the internet. Fake. Gone, fake again. Fake news. Four time in one fake day. News. Gone, wrong, hollow. Uh, you know, if the car is uh, supercharged, turbocharged, generally you're gonna want an oil cooler. Also, don't add an oil cooler if you don't need one, because overcooled oil is not that effective at lubricating an engine. Force induction car, or this car that you're trying, yeah. you want to have oil cooler. So you need to call Tim the Toolman Taylor or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy right now. I mean, you can also do it just for show too, but that's not really, that's just, you know. You get no cool points for having an oil cooler. It's not necessary. So what do the five, the W, the four zero, the three zero mean in oil specifications and how do you determine which one your car needs? The only weights I care about the ones I lift. <laughs> Mr. Bascom? It's a, it's a multi-grade viscosity, right? The first number is the weight when the oil is cold. The second number is its viscosity at operating temperatures. Cars will always differ depending on the tolerances within the engine. So this is the this is the problem with the oil viscosities, right? Different manufacturers will spec out different types of weights depending on the type of engine they're putting together. Older cars would have different ratings based on different times of the year. Another thing to keep in mind is manufacturers will spec oil weight based on the climate where they intend to send, sell the vehicle. Also true. Really, the best thing to do is to look at your owner's manual and go based off of that. What's the difference between booking oil and motor oil? Should you answer that one? <laughs> huh? Is Roselli cooking? If you're putting cooking oil in your engine, how do you know how to answer that? I shouldn't have said that. When I was in Germany, what I quickly realized is nothing. First of all, <laughs> wait, hold on. who is doing this? Absolutely nothing. I used some uh, Molly Gen last night, made some fantastic pasta. It tasted good, I don't know. Cooking oil makes your food extra crispy and delicious. Please message us 
we need to help you. <laughs> engine oil keeps the inside of your uh, engine looking mint and clean. You can put a little bit on your salad quickly. Okay. okay. You don't want to use engine oil to, you know, fry your mozzarella sticks. That's going to be disgusting. <laughs>